In 1984, NASA and the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, teamed up for a flight experiment called the Controlled Impact Demonstration, or CID. The project's goal was to crash a Boeing 720 airliner to test a fuel additive designed to suppress post-impact fire. The additive, called anti-misting kerosene, or AMK, demonstrated the ability to inhibit ignition and flame propagation of fuel in simulated crash tests, but researchers knew an actual crash would provide more realistic conditions. A special site was constructed on Rogers Dry Lake and cameras were set up to document the test from every angle, including inside the passenger cabin for even more crash data. On December 1, 1984, with only test dummies, extensive instrumentation, and 76,000 pounds of AMK on board, the old Boeing jet, flown remotely by a Dryden pilot, Fitz Fulton, was crashed onto the specially prepared area of the lake bed. When the aircraft touched down, iron posts embedded in the lake bed tore open the fuel tanks. The results were surprising. The CID impact ended with a spectacular fireball, enveloping and destroying the aircraft and everything in it. With the FAA on the verge of requiring all U.S. commercial airlines to use AMK, the NASA test discovered that the additive didn't work. Once again, the benefit of flight test was realized.